so here's some Earl Grey, Earl Gay for you. Oh, it is good. Uh, yes. In today's episode, how are you doing, Travapas? Welcome. So today, the weather outside is sort of great. It's a little bit cloudy, but the clouds sort of, they're not in the way of the sun. So what's going to happen today, you ask? Well, I don't know exactly. I need to get back on my diet because this Saturday and Sunday I was off it and it shows. Yes, it shows. And what else? Oh, I'm going to try go back to the recycling centre again. If you remember last time I was there, the blip thing didn't work. The fop, fop didn't work. So I'm going to try it again. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to call someone. Complaining. It ain't heavy, but it's inconvenient. No. So it didn't work. And I'm not mad. It's I'm um, sort of looking forward to this telephone call where I'm going to tell them off. This is really bad. So I was in telephone queue for about half an hour and I was starting to get really sort of what? And then this really nice person answered. So they are looking into it. And I said, you always have to sort of dramatise it. I said, sort of, my whole apartment is filled to the rafters with debris and things that needs to be, look at my hand need to be thrown away and I can't throw it away. I can't recycle it. What am I to do? It's starting to smell. And she said, oh, we can't have it like that, can we? We're going to fix this for you. Someone's going to call you. Someone's going to call me. So people, it's back to organising the kitchen and listening to podcasts. So it's two o'clock and it looks like nothing much has happened here, but something much has happened. But now it's time for a lunch break. I'm going to have this banh mi. So now I'm having a cup of coffee and I am looking up hydroponic plants. Or how to do hy hydroponic gardening, I guess, on Ikea. I think about start. I might start doing this. Seems like fun. Okay, so I know I might have said that I weren't going out today. Well, I need to buy groceries. So there you go. I will go grocery shopping. That's all. So on my way, I thought I might as well try that recycling centre door and that fop again. Yes, my recycling centre is a couple of blocks down. Still no go. So here we go again. So I don't know how it is in other countries, but in Sweden, most stores, a lot of them have this disinfectant. As you enter the store, you can sort of wash your hands. So now I am at a store called Tiger of Copenhagen and this, we got these stores out of metal with a cleaning appliance and I think that's, I think I'm going to buy them. So I bought two for uh, this Asian market because I think the tofu there is cheaper but I'm going to go check out at my regular place and see if I'm right. Yes, I was right. It was 24 Swedish crowns at the other place, and here's 39. So I found a new brand of meat-free meat balls. <laughs> so from this company, they're usually not vegan, as far as I know. It's kind of weird when you go out shopping, because every time you go out, you get, you risk being infected. And if you sort of, if you get infected, you risk dying. And still, you sort of, you had to go out, you had to continue your life. You can't just sit home and be sort of like, oh my God. But it's weird, you sort of smile to people, you keep your distance. Some people don't keep their distance. And then you sort of hope for the best. Every day you wake up, you think about feeling, <clears throat> no, I'm feeling fine. So maybe I live to see another day. 
Well, what did I buy? Well, I bought this tofu extra firm. I'm going to freeze this and then I'm going to uh, sort of use it tomorrow when I will thaw it and sort of press out all the water. So this is a trip to, tip to all of you. If you use, this is made in Sweden, isn't it fun? Tofu made in Sweden. Great. Uh, oh, maybe the soybeans aren't made in Sweden. I hope so. Anyway, there's a tip for you. Always freeze the tofu and then, then thaw it because it will be much firmer that way. Also at that uh, th Thai uh, shop I bought this. This is a fantastic. This sauce is so good. It's, uh, oh God, what's Sheswan pepper and peanuts in chili oil. It's, or maybe that chili oil is made from Sheswan peppers. I don't know. This is fantastic. I could sort of, this is the only condiment I need. And of course, I bought these straws made from metal and bought two more things. One, this was two, 20 Swedish crowns. I just wanted something sort of weird, right? And I also got, wait, this. This is a weird sort of mug with the, with the lid, but underneath it says the royal castle that's in swedish so i'm going to google the shit out of this what it is it's a mug with a what why why is there a lid on it hey people so look at this it's a tea tea mug isn't that great oh, oh, oh. I totally forgot to tell you, I'm going into work tomorrow again and doing some cleaning. Christian and I, we're going to go up in the attic and sort of vacuum the heck out of everything that's there. Because that's the kind of people we are. Now, I will be cooking. I don't know if I told you that we got a new, uh, we got, I got a new Vigo magazine. And the first recipe I will be cooking from this is this. It, in the end, they, they, there is a portion where they have those sort of kind of easy menus for the week. And I'm going to be making those. That pasta with vegan meatballs. I'm going to be using these new from Darth God. Meatless meatballs. I will be using things like this. And this. And things like stoves and heating stuffs. So, people, do you recognize this? Well, maybe not. This comes from Ikea, and it's, well, I think it was a limited thing. And I think it is for cooking asparagus. I'm not sure. But I will be using it to cook spaghetti. Because it's, look, doesn't it look like it is perfect shape for spaghetti? Yes. So this is supposed to be quite simple. You just chop up an onion, you heat some uh, rapeseed oil, one uh, tablespoon of rapeseed oil. I will be doing this in a, cook, a saucepan. And you will also have to chop up two red bell peppers. And the easiest way I think to chop up red peppers is to sort of, you cut into one of those grooves and then you can sort of take away the sort of meaty part without having all those seeds. Mm, this is a hack. Well, most of the seeds stay on this. So chop it up. Time to fry the onion. So you give the onion a couple of minutes and then you add the bell pepper. Oh, this is not gonna go well. Oh, it did, almost. The recipe calls for one clove of garlic, but I, being a maverick, is gonna add two. I am, I'm not is, I am gonna add two cloves of garlic. And when the well, uh, vegetables grown sort of limp-ish, you add the garlic. Oh, damn it. You add the garlic. Yes, you do. And half a deciliter of tomato puree. And you are also, in the recipe, the recipe calls for two deciliters of vegan cream. This is two and a half deciliters and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that half deciliter. So I put two and a half deciliters instead of two deciliters into this. So, and then you're supposed to let it boil. And when it's sort of getting warm, you add one teaspoon 
of sugar. It's uh, to give the tomato sort of that sweet. Well, it helps the tomatoes to taste like tomatoes, I guess. And for those of you who wonder what happened to that teacup, well, I washed it. I'm heating water and I bought this. It's the tea flavor. That sort of, I think they did this on Pride, this, this company, uh, and it's Earl Gay. So hopefully it's good, I can't remember, but I can't even get it up. Usually I have no problems getting it up. Okay, people, here we go. That, and then the kettle. God, I do hope this works. Well, why shouldn't it work? Oh, burps. Okay, and then you sort of, maybe you sort of use, this is what you do, so you do that, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, I've never done it before. Boil, bastard. And when it starts boiling, you add one of those and start blitzing away. <laughs> done. Okay, then it's time to start frying those meatless meatballs. So what happened to that tea, you say? Oh, this is hot. I think you're supposed to do like that. And then, like that. I'm not sure. Are there any debris? Yes, there are lots of things <laughs> at the bottom of it. But let's drink like a royal. So here's some Earl Grey, Earl Gay for you. Oh, it is good. Uh, yes. Like tea that are not in tea bags is t often tastes so much better. This tastes like tea. And often I just, when I buy tea bags, I buy the cheapest sort kind, so that might be the reason why they don't taste as good. Mmm, this is really good. So it took some time for this to, to start boiling, because I guess the surface air, area is in sort of, well, I don't know if this was such a good idea. Hopefully it was. So into the pot, the pasta goes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to start the meal prep. Four. Fuck. Four. Four. I've got to try one of these. Mmm. They're really good. You would... You could all, well, almost believe that they are meat. So I meal prepped, I made meal prep for today's dinner, tomorrow, the day after and the day after or whatever. So there's vegan meatballs and <laughs> spaghetti. Now all we need to do is add the sauce. So people, here we go. Tonight's dinner sorted. Now I'm going to watch an episode of the Great British Sewing Bee. It's the semi-finals. The shearing is neat. Well done. Chinello proved she could make do and mend like no other. It's pretty ingenious, actually. <laughs> People, I'm having a really hard time sort of understand what time it is since the nights are the evenings are getting lighter and lighter what's this so it's a quarter past nine in the evening and this is how it looks outside so <laughs> I, I thought the clock was maybe seven six maybe six or seven so i totally misread every sign because i mean there's the sun's still up. 